Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In this video, I'm going to talk about Copilot for Power BI. What is it? What are the benefits of it? What are the prerequisites and how you can enable in your own tenant? If you are interested in this video, then please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. My name is Ajay Kumar and you are watching me on BI Consulting Pro. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you always stay updated with our latest videos and content. If you would like to connect with me on LinkedIn, then you can also find my LinkedIn address over here on your screen and you can connect me over there. There also, I publish a lot of uh, content so that you can be aware about the latest changes or updates that are coming for Power BI, Microsoft Fabric or even in Azure. Now let's start this video. First, let's talk about the agenda. In this video, we are first going to discuss about what is Copilot for Power BI. Then we are going to talk about what does it offer? That means what are the benefits of it? We are also going to talk about the prerequisite. And finally, we are going to have a demo. Now, without wasting any more time, let's directly jump over there that what is Copilot for Power BI? Well, Copilot is a generative AI solutions by Microsoft for different applications. You can also consider Copilot for Power BI as your AI assistant that is going to help you to make the data-driven decisions. It basically goes beyond traditional analytics by providing intelligent insights in your data and semantic models. That means you can ask questions directly to your semantic model or your report. With Copilot advanced capabilities, you can experience a smarter way to make your data-driven decisions and making complex data analysis that was not really possible previously without such knowledge where you can literally do the deep dive into data. Now, with the help of Copilot, you can do that in just minutes. Now, we are going to move forward and here we are going to discuss about some of its benefits. The very first, you should know that with the help of Copilot for Power BI, you can transform your data analysis experience completely. First of all, it's going to supercharge your productivity and how? Well, with the help of this AI tool, you can get summarization of your actions and it's going to optimize your productivity over there. It's not going to take your job. Because in order to get the right information or the right output from the copilot, you should know the prompt engineering. If you can't write the right prompt over there, you won't get the right information. If you are interested in the prompt engineering and you would like us to make a video, then please leave your comment in the comment section. Second would be level up your skills. You can master what you are good at and plus you can enhance your skills over there or you can also learn new skills over there third would be discover insights so with the help of copilot you can discover insights from your data instantly it's going to understand your data better and it's going to help you out to get all those insights for you now if we talk about the simplified report creation with the help of copilot you can plan the best way to analyze your data you can generate multiple page or single page that's totally upon you and also you can tap into advanced ai features to identify the visual insights isn't it amazing in the demo i'm going to show you some of these prompts that how you can write it over there and then you can also enhance your data summarization experience previously if you are working with the power bi then you already know there is a narrative visualization now with the help of copilot you can also generate those summaries but not only that you can edit those summaries as well with the help of copilot you can also go for auto creation of your q a prompts here you can enrich your data models with tailored synonyms copilot basically identifies your appropriate synonyms to enhance your data model then with the help of copilot you can also get tailored synonyms to your requirements and this copilot also aligns the tone and format for improved engagement of the users if you would like to know more, I'm also going to provide you a link in the description section for Copilot for Power BI and you can learn more about it over there. With the help of Microsoft Copilot for Power BI, you also get an enhanced data exploration and analysis experience. That means you can ask questions directly to your data model or semantic model. You can further enhance those outputs by asking more questions on the top of that. It's going to help you basically to understand your data better and there it's going to insist you to get more insights as well as the consistent details. You can also create bullet points with the help of Copilot. Now let's talk about prerequisites. Here we are going to discuss about some of the prerequisites of Microsoft Power BI Copilot. First of all, you have to enable it. How you can enable it? You should have the admin access, otherwise you cannot do that. And also do note that you should be on FSQs now. And for this, you should have minimum 
P1 or F64 SKU. Without that, you cannot enable the Copilot for Power BI. So that's the number one requirement for that. Secondly, you have to enable this inside your organization. And for that, you should have the admin account. Over here, you can see that on the first part, you would type just Copilot and there this setting is going to appear, Copilot and Azure Experience. You have to enable that. If you want to enable for your entire organization yourself, it's totally up to you. Then you have to also enable one more option, which is just below this one. So please make sure that you enable both these options and only then you can start utilizing this one. After that, there are certain prerequisites if you really want to use a copilot for Power BI reports and semantic models. You have to basically ensure that you are following the best practices. If you won't follow that, it's not that you cannot use it, but you won't probably get the right output or the right results out of your semantic model or report. So it's really imperative that you focus on right now on the screen and their prerequisites, follow them, while you are creating the report or before start utilizing copilot for power bi now this is it about the theoretical introduction about the copilot i have already told you what are the prerequisites how you can enable it so let's jump onto the demo part and i'm going to show you well over here i'm on my microsoft power bi service portal i'm using one of the microsoft sample reports you can also download any of the microsoft sample reports from their website and then what you have to do simply you would find this option copilot you have to click over here and there's also a preview option over there. So if you really want to use the preview options, you have to enable this one. Preview options are basically some of the new features that is coming in Copilot where you can ask questions to your semantic model as well. Here, you would find that welcome to Copilot for Power BI, simplifying your work experience and mistakes are possible. So don't forget to read these while devil lies in the details. You can learn more if you would like to. Here we are going to say, okay, let's start. And then simply you will get over a couple of options. So for example, give me an executive summary. So click on it, it's going to work. It would take a couple of seconds and then it can do it. Not only that, you can also ask what insight should I look into? You would get the suggestion. You can also say, create a new report page to give me an overall idea of this one. Like over here, you see, give me an executive summary. You have this executive summary and you can even change it. If you would like to, you can click on it and it's going to highlight for you. And then you can ask certain questions here. You would get a couple of options. If you would like to share or you would like to just export the data, etc. You can do that. Now, this is the one part that you can do, but you can also ask the questions regarding the data. For example, I want to ask what is the total revenue? one and then you have to hit the answer so it's going to search it and probably you are going to get the answer over there but as i mentioned please don't forget to read it whenever you get the output you should read it that's really important you have to do the proofreading before sharing with others and here you see the total revenue one is 11.43 which is exactly the same you can see over here you can go to into another page and there you can probably start from here and you can say and here you can go. So this is the way that you can write it. Of course, I'm not doing the prompt engineering session over here. Probably in our prompt engineering session, I'm going to write more prompts, more uh, sophisticated prompt to get more and more answer. But this is the way that you can start utilizing Copilot in your organization. And here you can see that I asked it, I'm executive director. I need to know overall performance of regional sales. And here I'm getting all the answers. So this is the way that you can ask your questions, you can summarize it, or maybe you can directly ask questions from the semantic model and you can generate insights. So this is the way that to use the Copilot for Power BI. Now, before ending this video, I would also like to emphasize that Copilot basically use your backend operations if you know what are the front-end and back-end operations for Power BI. In this case, it becomes imperative that you monitor your capacity performance. So in this case, you have to use Microsoft Fabric Capacity app that is going to help you to monitor your capacities, their performance, who's using, what they are using, and also how much capacity is being utilized by the Copilot for Power BI. And in our future videos, we are also going to create a new video on capacity monitoring. If you are interested, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell icon so that you always stay updated with our latest videos and updates. If you found this video insightful and you really like it, then please give up a thumbs up and also share with your friends and colleagues. If you're looking for any of the Microsoft Fabric or Microsoft Power BI related trainings, then please do contact us. Not only that, if you are looking for any consulting work, then you can also reach out to us. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring the data and take care of yourself. I'm going to see you in the next video.